Well, I think a, a learning event like this um, is really important for staff. It's, it's important to, uh, to, to create some space away from the day-to-day -day, um, business of uh, managing projects, processing, uh, administering projects, and it, it's really important for, for staff to have some time to think about the broader issues, especially in, 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 in areas as complex as public sector management and, and governance. I think equally it, it's important um, for staff because we have a responsibility to be providing the best um, knowledge possible to our clients. And those expectations um, from our, our DMCs, they're increasing. And so I think it's, it's, it's really imperative that we create more opportunities like this for staff to um, just get together and, and learn from each other. This particular event was very internally focused. Um, there were no external resource persons, and I think that that, that was very, um, very important. Uh, there's a lot of tacit knowledge already within ADB, and we um, need to find better ways of sharing it with each other and, and also capturing, capturing it within the organization. So we've got a strong corporate memory bank yeah. in these areas. Mainstreaming uh, governance and public sector management, that's, that means different things to different people. Uh, for me, is how do we work better between the public sector management um, professionals and the sector professionals so that we work in a more integrated and seamless fashion. And, you know, we need to find ways of working um, where we break down the silos that we tend to, to work in, whether it's at the country level or sector level um, or at, at the project level. Specifically in the area of governance and public sector management, it's important that we uh, really focus on identifying the key risks there are in each of the sectors. I think if you look at all of the sectors that ADB is involved in, and I would suggest that in, in, in probably every sector, there's at least some governance and public sector management risks, which if they're not um, properly identified and if we don't um, identify um, you know, mitigation measures effectively with our clients together collaboratively, then um, sector performance and project performance is always going to be is always going to be suboptimal. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's it's really important um, at the country sector and project level to be working very closely um, in in partnership across the sectors. Equally, I think it's important that sector specialists. Um, say in education, in transport, health, that they themselves um, see the importance for gaining their own um, expertise in public sector and governance issues that affect their sector. An increasing role that we could play in in the, from in in our SDD is to support our operations colleagues with more um, guidance on um, appropriate political economy approaches. There'll be many stakeholders within uh, within government and outside of government that also have different. Uh, spheres of influence and different degrees of influence over the decision-making processes that lead to change. So we need to consider these aspects, especially in the areas of governance and public sector management, because they tend to be more sensitive. So if we, if we want change that's going to be sustainable, we need to be working with our, um, with our partners in our DMCs to come up with um, programs going forward that are realistic and uh, along a path of change um, that would be sustainable. Mm -hmm.